if you're having to like train a few days and then you take five days off, your body just, you don't absorb all those benefits of training and it, your body kind of has to get used to running again. And, and then you're putting your body through more stress because you've um, lost some of those adaptations to the training that you've, that you've gained early on in the training cycle. And consistent training allows you to do more than anything. I think it makes you a resilient athlete. I've been lucky in my running career. You know, I've had a handful of injuries that have taken me out for a while, but I feel like I've gotten lucky in that I've spent a lot of my career uninjured and relatively healthy. I feel like sometimes more technical terrain, more variety in terrain has almost been helpful in not becoming injured. Like in college, when I was, I ran for Northern Arizona University in Flagstaff, and I felt like I spent a bit more time injured then, almost because a lot of the training is so repetitive. Uh, you're doing long runs on like long dirt roads and you know, the foot strike is the same, the motion is the same, your cadence is pretty similar throughout each run. And I felt like that type of running almost led to more like overuse injuries. I think you need to look at your history and what's your injury history and how can you adjust training so that you're able to train consistently and not get hurt. Here on the trails, you might be more worried about like an acute thing where like you fall and like whack your knee and like that takes you out for a while. That's a very real thing and you gotta be careful about that. But I felt like since, I've, since running trails, I don't see quite the same amount of like overuse stuff that I might've seen like when I was running in college and doing more like track workouts and flatter stuff where the, the, the foot strike pattern and the cadence is more similar. Like in trail running, it's so varied that I feel like you, you get a little more variety and, and possibly that helps avoid injury. So avoiding injury risk with consistent training is, is big. It also allows you to adapt physiologically to the training. If you're uh, the more repetitive and the better habits you build in training, um, the better uh, I think you're able to handle like little changes to like weather and the course. If something's more challenging than you expect, um, you just really built up this mental resilience um, through weeks and months of consistent training that um, you're able to kind of handle those, um, those obstacles with more ease. So yeah, mental resilience, adapting to the, to the climate and the environment on race day is, uh, is huge with consistent training. And then you're able to just I more easily measure how you're, track your progress um, and how you're, you're progressing in your training and can kind of kind of measure how your workouts are going, what paces you're hitting. Um, if your training is more spotty, it's, it's a little bit harder to track that progress and really, really see uh, um, success and be able to measure it. And so I think a lot of it is like creating habits that allow for that type of consistent training. That's huge is like find a routine that works for you. Like, um, I've gone through periods where like I run in the morning every day, like before work, uh, before like class when I was back in college and that's worked great for me. But for some people, um, and I've gone through phases like this too, where like running in the evenings is just better for me. So I think building those habits that allow you to get out the door and keep running fun and something that, and engaging something that you want to do is, is huge. Um, if running is just like this chore every day, um, you know, it, it, know that it's, Consistent training, I think, is very, very beneficial to um, uh, to developing as an athlete. But at the same time, in order to train consistently, sometimes you need to allow your body uh, to rest. And so taking some time after these big races um, so that you're actually recovered and ready to, ready to get out there again and uh, starting the training when your body's really ready and your mind is really ready and focused at the task at hand. Um, so yeah, creating, creating an environment where you can train consistently and making sure you're in the right frame of mind and have, um, you know, can minimize stressors that kind of detract from uh, being able to get out the door uh, um, is huge. So finding, finding the routine that works for you, I think is, is huge in, in building that environment. Yeah, yeah. Came from the trenches, they ain't showing us no love. Dying in the city, I be wanting.
was a hug, yeah. We on the block like every night to catch a buzz. Get the cash and tell my family out of the hood. 